All right, let's do this epi- Oh, what episode is this? This might be episode seven. We are rucking along here. We are on episode seven of Shot for God. If you're new here, you're, you're kind of late because this is episode seven. There are six other episodes on my channel in a beautifully curated playlist. You can watch them all. There are little streams of connectivity. There's like some stories that are just like intertwined in every episode. I advise you to watch the other ones. But in a nutshell, Shot and Forgot. I bought 35 mil film slides on eBay. They are random. They are mysterious. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they're from. The idea is we look at the photo, we zoom in on things, and we try to get a location, any information for that matter. We scan these with a high quality photo scanner. So many of you guys have actually figured these slides out after the video has gone live. And to that I say... Well done. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do our first four photos on episode seven of Shot and Forgot. We have a clown. I will say um, the movie It has really ruined clowns for me. What is he doing? He's making a um, making a balloon animal. What does this say? Lost and found. Toro and garden. Tour to garden. The slide says this is October of 1989. This isn't even a real brick wall. Just want to point that out. The shoes, man. The shoe game is strong. No real indicators other than this sign, which I can't read. Town to garden? No indicators of this one, guys, other than this is a lost and found with a clown. Okay, next photo. Oh, we got a cute little puppy. He's so cute, Char. Who are you, buddy? We have a little puppy. Big ass diamond ring on this woman. June of 1970. <gasps> Connection, we have a connection, I think. Do you guys remember the photo of the kid playing with his dog? Same colors, this might be the puppy. Is that the same dog, guys? Same breed? Like, the ears look fluffy, it's golden and white. I just can't see the front of the dog to know. You know what, this photo is backwards because that is a wedding ring or an engagement ring, which I believe should be on her left hand. Now with this, the dog has coloring over his eye here, and in this one, the dog is coloring over his eye here. It might be the same friggin' dog, man. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. We also get hit with some of these really beautiful shots. And keep in mind, these are one of a kind. August of 1984. Mountain ranges, unless you're a mountaineer, unless you know your mountains, this one's not really helpful. I wouldn't even know where to say this was, if this was Canada or Europe or even the United States, you know? Although these mountain peaks, they could be iconic. Like you could, you could figure that. Cause mountains don't really grow. You know what I mean? Like if it looks like this in this photo, it's gonna look like that on Google maps. All right, next photo. Ooh, look at that style. That is style and that is class. Again, I think this is backwards only because this like lapel or whatever that flower is called on a guy, boutonniere. One of them is boutonniere, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go over the left. That would also make more sense because the clock is now saying it is six, like around 6.45. And this looks kind of like a nighttime thing, like they're off the prom. Oh, maybe this is prom. We have not seen either of these people before, I don't believe. What a charming ass photo. You know what I mean? Like it's, they're off the prom and he's kind of like, I'ma clap some cheeks. And she's like, I'ma have my cheeks clap. Anyways, <laughs> sorry for the, Escalation there, it wasn't needed. June of 1975. Look at the size of this bow tie. That is huge. Have we seen this room in any other past episodes of Shot and Forgot? Don't think so. I mean, that looks like a velour suit. Or like velvet, man, that would be hot as hell. And he's rocking it all with a unibrow. That's commitment. Okay, first four photos. I wouldn't say they're a bust. And they didn't have to Google anything. That's kind of the fun part, you know? Photo number five. Ooh! I have two things to say about this, okay? One, that's kind of cool. Like the guy's standing on a whale's nose and two, before you guys attack me, SeaWorld. Okay, there I said it. I'm not down with SeaWorld. I'm not down with the containment of these wild animals because I have seen what happens. September 25th of 1984. They have SeaWorld in San Diego. Let me look this up on Google. We'll have our first Google search here. SeaWorld 1984 locations. They have SeaWorld in San Diego, Orlando, San Antonio, Abu Dhabi. We have had photos in this series from San Antonio before. Most likely this photo is San Antonio SeaWorld. Actually, let me check when that opened. Maybe not. It opened May 27th of 1988. No, this is 1984, so it's not San Antonio. Okay, SeaWorld Orlando opened on December 15th, 1973. It could be that. San Diego was 64, I think that was the first one, so it could be San Diego. So it's either SeaWorld Orlando or SeaWorld San Diego. Next photo. No! Ah! No! 
No! <laughs> Holy sh! Guys! Oh, how do I sit? This series is so cool. I don't know if you guys know this yet. Do you guys realize who this is? If you've seen other Shot and Forgot episodes, you know exactly who this is. We're literally watching these kids grow up. This is crazy. I'm gonna break this down for you right now. Notice the windows, notice the curtain, notice the Christmas tree. This guy is the guy with the dog I just showed you. He's also the kid who I think was holding up a Notre Dame shirt. It's always at Christmas. We're gonna call this guy Christmas Kid. My God, look how much older he is. Oh my gosh, he's drinking a beer? What a, what a special freaking moment. We, we've seen this kid grow up just as much as Randy. This guy's got an ass ton of gifts. January of 1980. I mean, this family's tree has always been excessive. If there's one consistency with this family, their trees have always been wild. I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy. That one made my episode, man. All right, next photo. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my God. I'm trying to <laughs> contain myself. Guys, do you know who this is? Do you guys know who this is? This slide was picked at complete random, Randy's dad. In the last episode, we saw that he was in San Francisco. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God, oh my God. We, this is the biggest connection and watch this. In the past episode, The Shot and Forgot, we've had this plane trip, which I made a connection with in the last photo. Turns out, the person taking the photos is most likely this guy because he's a pilot. Randy's dad is most likely a pilot. And if you look at this photo, it says the Alaska flag line. They were flying to Alaska. He worked for Northern Airlines. We're getting so close to connecting Randy, man. Oh my God, I can't. Right here, the Alaska flag line, Pacific Northern Airlines. Okay, it looks like it's now called Western Airlines. Western Airlines was a major airline based in California, operating in the Western United States, Alaska, Hawaii, and Western Canada. In 1967, Western Airlines acquired Pacific Northern Airlines. Based in Anchorage, Alaska. Its main route being Anchorage to Seattle. I don't even know what to say, man. I'm speechless. They ceased operations April 1st of 1987 and merged with Delta Airlines. Randy was either based in Los Angeles area and his dad was a pilot that would fly to Alaska. That's him, man. That's the same guy. March 1959. I believe that is the airport code for Juneau Airport. I think this is in Juneau. Yeah, look at the mountains in the background. All right, next photo. So we have this guy in a white jacket pointing through a sign that says House of Joy. Jeez, look at the sidewalk on this place, man. Looks like the Hulk took a stroll down their sidewalks. Okay, so it looks like this is where the photo was taken. If you look at this, like look at that. It used to look like this. Now it's like that. Arizona. Jerome, Arizona. I don't know if we've gotten any Arizona picks yet. For this last batch that I'm about to scan, these are associated to Randy. I had no idea we were gonna get that pilot shot and have this massive breakthrough. Just to further propel the search, here are some more shots of Randy, okay? You guys, some of you guys are saying it's not his dad and back in the day they had kids a lot younger, but this guy is in every photo with Randy, Barry, and Debbie. These are from Barry's second birthday. It says kids at Barry's second birthday. Barry would be about 64, 65. Same age as Randy pretty much. Uh, but these were all taken on the same day. These photos are backwards. Only based off of this kid's shirt. Hill. Oh, maybe this is the location. What does this shirt say? But this is how the photo should be taken. Oh, no license plates. Okay, there you guys have it. That is episode seven of Shot and Forgot. Please, if you guys are invested in this and are also searching for Randy, Debbie, or Barry with me, their dad, which I believe is their dad, was a pilot for an airline that later got bought by Delta. There you guys have it. If you enjoyed this series, again, you can watch six other episodes over on my YouTube channel. I've got a playlist there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I got another DIY coming at you this Sunday, and hopefully it's not a fail. <laughs> See you in my next video. See you guys later.